Shalom. Shalom. All right, first and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, All right, give double honors to the elders, apostles of GMS, and salutations and blessings to the Akin around the world, preaching and teaching his truth. All right, we're GMS Memphis Camp. You know, we got a, a beautiful lesson just going into uh, repent and return. Okay, return uh, back to your power, back to your how about Shemal Shah. Okay, and repent, come in the uh, spirit of repentance. Okay, be sorry for unto the Lord for uh, uh, the sins that we've committed, man, the things we've done in the world that we didn't, you know, when we didn't know, know the truth, when we didn't have this truth. You know, you got to repent and be sorrowful for that, man. Okay, the, even the things we do on a day-to-day -day basis that we don't know that we're doing, you know, sinning unwillfully, all right? You still got to repent for that, man. You know, so... Gun, gun. So, hey, you, you just got to be in that spirit of, uh, uh, you know, being sorrowful, man. You know, coming back into the Lord... Yeah, how about Shema I'll show your power and being and being uh, uh in that right uh uh contrite spirit, so like it. Being in that uh, uh repentful state of mind, man. You know, begging the Lord to forgive us for all the things that we've done, man. You know? You got it up. <laughs> Alright, this is um the word um repent. Uh, G33, I mean, 3340, um, that Eno, it, oh, uh, in Strong's, it reads, uh, to think differently or afterwards reconsider the morally feel uh, co compunction. No, 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 no. <clears throat> now, say it again. Like, what the first word I said? It says, um, recons it recons to think differently. To what? To think differently. You gotta think differently. You see, because this, this the, the ways of this world and how we were taught and brought up in this society is way contrary to the scriptures of Yahweh by Shema Shah. The law of Tejas commandment which govern us, all right, which is a GPS to life. We, we didn't think this way, man, growing up in the society. So now the Lord has given us, all right, the banner, which is the truth. <laughs> we got to think differently. We got to act differently. We got to look different. You know what I'm saying? We got to do all these things because what we have now, we have the what? The truth. You see that? So now we're in a stage of what? Repentance. That's this is what this grace period is about, man. All right? See, Christianity take the grace period and, and use it for a whole another meaning. You know what I'm saying? Which they downplaying the, the, the power we have by Shema Shah, man. But no, man, this grace period is for us to turn back to Heaven Father and repent and be sorrowful, man, for we have done, man. You see? We have disobeyed the Lord, man. You know? So the Lord's like, hey, it's time. Repent before what? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And our salvation is nearer than what we believe. You got it, bro. Uh, uh, read the definition again. It says, to think differently. Or afterwards, reconsider morally feel compunction. Look, he said reconsider what morally, man. You gotta reconsider. Damn. You know, it's like, so you know, one thing about Jake, Jake got a conscience. So Jake know when things ain't right. You know, Jake know that my ain't Paul did that, man. So you know, you ain't Paul did that. What what is your best uh, uh option? Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. Forgive me. And the Lord have mercy on you. You see? But you got two thirds that really don't even give a damn. You know? Two thirds don't even consider. But it said to be different and consider. Go ahead, bro. Right. So this is um, Luke uh, chapter 13 in verse 3. It says, I tell you nay, but except you repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Right, because if you don't repent, because that's the first thing, all right? You got to repent, man. You got to tell the Father, hey, hey I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for what I've done. Hey, forgive me. You know what I'm saying? Forgive those that trespass against me. Do all these things, man. All right? 
If you don't, guess what? You're going to remain in the Congress of the dead. All right? Yeah, hey, that's the only way the Lord can truly forgive you, man. Because yeah, just just take it as as uh, uh, on a carnal sense. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's you, you know? And someone has wronged you or done something wrong against you, you know, you're not going to uh, accept that person back. You're not going to want to deal with them anymore until they apologize, man. Mm-hmm. And sincerely apologize, man. You know, and be sorrowful. Then you can forgive a person because it ain't in our spirit to be like east side. We hold the grudge forever. Yeah, we don't hold grudges. We don't hold grudges, man. If a person sincere and truly apologize, Jake can forgive them, man. You know, and that's how you got to come to the Lord. If you you got to be sincere and come with that 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 true contrite spirit, man. That re- spirit of repentance and tell you how about your mouth shine, man. He can. He can uh, forgive you, man, and bring you back in. He got you real quick, huh? yep. This is Psalms, chapter 51, and verse 17. Right. It reads, the sacrifice of the Most High are broken spirits. Yep. A broken and contrite heart. Oh, the Most High, that would not despise. Mm. Yep. A broken and contrite heart. That's what, that's, that's what the Lord is looking for, man. Yep. That spirit, man, where... You're, you're sorrowful for what you've done, man. Okay, you sorrowful, man, and you repent. You saying you sorry, man. You know, yeah. so the Lord will forgive you, man, and have mercy upon you, man. Mm-hmm. And that's that's what we all need in the days and times to come is mercy, man. You know, so how are you gonna get there if you not if you proud, man? If you're not sorry for what you've done, you know, you're not willing to repent. <laughs> you're not willing to repent. Hey, the Lord's gonna bring it. He's gonna drop the hem on your head, man. That's what's gonna happen. Yep, that's why you gotta have the spirit of repentance on you. So remember, we're in the midst in the valley of the shadow of death. Alright? Remember, we're in the we it said the habitation in the midst of deceit. You see that? So this world that we living in, you know what I'm saying, it is full of wickedness. Right. So guess what? It's, it's gonna come around about. So we do fall out because we're not perfect. Because Romans 8 and what is it, Romans 8 and 20, it tell you that we ain't we ain't perfect. Because that man was what? Made subject to vanity. You see that? But what makes us loose from that band? Us repenting. You see, us us committing our faults and our flaws. You know what I'm saying? To the heavenly father and the son. You know, uh, you know, I ain't meant to do that, but you know, hey, hey sometimes the flesh over reason. But the spirit is always with them. That's why you got that, that, that heart, that mind of repentance, because the spirit is still with them, man. Yeah, I, got, I got a quick one. This is Micah 7 and verse 9. It says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. Right. You know that? Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. Exactly. That, that sounds like a humble man right there. That yeah. sounds like a man that has got a spirit of repentance on him. Because why you understand what he has done? When we go back and, and see the acts of our forefathers, that was us. Seeing the predicament we in and seeing why we in this position, that was us. So now I'm going to bear the indignation because what? I'm in that spirit of repentance. Yeah. And I don't want to be like them. You know, I want to be saved. So what you have to do? You got to be in the spirit of repentance. No? You yeah. got to go out. Yeah, yeah. We, were, we wronged the Lord, man. And, you know, you have to be in that spirit to come back into the Lord and, 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 and repent. And basically say you sorry and the Lord will have mercy on you, man. But you gotta yeah. remember, man, two thirds, man, that's why we hate niggas, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause niggas make it hard, man. You know what I'm saying? You got Jake, don't even believe in, in, in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Even though everything you can, everything is in her, what you're going through, you still don't believe in it. That makes you hate niggas. You know what I'm saying? But that's why the Lord, you know, it's not to get off top, he said he has 7,000 men and have not bowed down to the enemy. Of our all, man. But it's going to the elect. You know, those that believe wholeheartedly, man. All right? 
Those that in the in the mind frame in the spirit of repentance and not turn the back from it. Are like you read earlier? You know you have to you have to change, man. You see that? We in a changing form. Why? Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Man, we right. see Yahweh Shai is coming to deliver and to destroy, man. Right. So you want to be in that contrite spirit. Right. You want to be in that spirit of, it's all I have. You know what I'm saying? But Jake ain't going to get that spirit till it's fucking too late. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then they're going to be in a, in a humble spirit and in a spirit of, yeah. no, it's too fucking late. It's too late. You know? And guess what? We're going to have to have a spirit of... Nigga, I told you. <laughs> and now we can't even show no pity. We can't have no mercy on you. This, this is the mercy now. All right? Us pushing forth this gospel, this good news, man. Warning and telling you the drip, the drip of there you have by Shemal Shah. Telling you to repent. And repent meaning what? To turn back from... Turn from your evil ways, your evil doings, and start to rehearse the righteous acts, which is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, man. All right? Looking at our forefathers, our foremothers, all right? And take it on, all right? How, how they stood up so stiffly for the name when you have by some out shot. Right. You see, there are things that we got to look to and be like, okay, I'm going to take on the same, I'm going to take on the same, I'm going to take on the same custom. Hey, my forefather did, look at Abraham. Ivan, Jacob. Look at the prophet, Noah. You see? Look at Daniel. You know? Look at, at, at Paul. You know what I'm saying? You, know, you got to look at these prophets, man. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Habakkuk. They all went through things, but what they did, they stood stiffly for the name, man. You know? And they all had something in common. A what a spirit, a what repentance. Because they knew they weren't perfect. They knew that, man. And here it is, us today, man. We got to repent, man. All right? We got to bring that mind straight up, man. Hey, hey. Heavenly Father, you know what's going on, man. You know I ain't perfect. You made me who I am. But at the end of the day, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. You know, like King David prayed there, bro? Mm -hmm. My brother, get that real quick out. Uh, uh, Psalms 51 and 11. King David was in a, in a repentant state, out. Right? Yeah. You see? He was repenting, out. Right? You know, because he knew the power. Even though he was a king, huh? He could have been like Nebuchadnezzar, the spirit of Nebuchadnezzar. You know, but he knew the power that was at hands, man. He knew that who ruled in the kingdom of men. No, bro. This is Psalms 51 and 11. Cast me not away from thy presence. Cast me not away in thy presence. Go ahead. And take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Go ahead. Verse 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Exactly. That's what repentance is going to do for you. When you turn back from your evil ways, your evil doing, you know what the Lord going to do? He's going to restore to you salvation. Yep. You see? You got it, bro. Hey, um, get that scripture where it says, uh, uh, convert and be healed. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Look that up real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause hey, the Lord don't wanna. Uh, everybody can't come back, man. You, you got two thirds of the nation, man. They right now, they they they're not gonna be able to get it, man. All right, because they the Lord don't want them, man. They're not a part of 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 uh, the final script, man, so to speak. Okay, they get they're about to get xed out, man. That 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 time is about to get cut short. Okay, but you're going to come back, man, and live uh, everlasting life, man. Like the scriptures say, our Israel shall be saved, man. That's right. All right. You find it, bro? Uh, yeah, you might not have it, though. He just said it. Yeah. You might not have it, bro. Convert and be saved. I thought it was in Matthew. It's in Matthew. I thought it was. I don't know. Might be. This one of the gospels, though. But yeah, um, hey, the Lord, hey, we 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 got to come back and return, man. Mm -hmm. We got to return to the house by Shema Shah, man. I'm gonna get this uh, quick one while the brother looking for that precept. Right. This is uh, John 15 and 22. It says, "If I had not spoke, Salaki, if I had not come and spoken unto them, 
they had not sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. Mm -hmm. You know? And uh hey, our people don't don't have any cloak anymore, man, because hey, you got the men of the Lord out here telling you what what the Lord expects, man, and what what, what you need to do. All right, to please him, man, to come back and repent and, and, and start serving your house by Shemal Shah. So you have no excuse, okay? You 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 have no way of getting out of this judgment, man, that's coming into the earth, man. Everybody has heard the word, man, okay? The truth is out there, man. You got all these camps out here pushing the truth, okay? Not everybody has 100%. But ultimately, man, you you heard the word, man. Hey, what, right. what, what the Lord say? Why is uh, ashes and uh, uh, earth and ashes proud? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have nothing. To, proud, we have man. nothing to glorify of. Yeah. You know, he's sitting here proud as fuck. You know, just because you got a uh, you got money in the bank. You got your nails done, you got your toes done, you got niggas doing this and that for you. Or the nigga that he, he, you know what I'm saying, he got rims on his car. Bro, that ain't shit. That shit gonna get burned up, man. Why is urban ashes proud when you still got an answer to the so-called white man for the wants of all things? Yup. See? So you have to be in the mind state of repentance to the heavenly father and the son. No, because guess what? This is the way out. This is the way out, man. Showing the Lord that you're sorry. All right? That's why I say pray, because pray mean what? To beg. All right? We begging the Lord for mercy. We begging the Lord to deliver us. We begging the Lord for salvation. We begging the Lord to keep us. All right? In, a, in, in our right mind. Because niggas is bugging out these days, man. Man. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is in crazy houses. Hey, hey, we, you see what Esau planning on doing, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What, what's coming down the pike in 2022? 20, okay? Man, hey, you want to be on, you want the Lord to have mercy on you, man. Let me get a quick one. Real quick, bro. Let's go to this. Man, you want you want the Lord to have mercy on you, man. The days and times we about to come into, like brother Yashamaf always go into, hey, uh, mercy is about to be like one of the hottest uh, 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 commodities. Man. It is out here, man. You gonna want to you want you gonna want to have plenty of that, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah, because Jake ain't got nothing right now. You know, along with mercy with his friend. Yep. Because it was gonna bring you mercy. Okay. You like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it to the spirit of a nigga phone. That nigga scared of me. So what you gonna do? You ain't gonna fuck with him. Yeah. You gonna, you gonna, uh, he cool. Cause he already know what's up. You That's mercy. Right. Because I could, I could, I could beat I you could up right now. You but you showing me. mercy with a wife. You feel me? That's on the, that's on the lowest level ever I can explain. You know what I'm saying? Fear and mercy. And I know you can understand that. Go yep. ahead, bro. This is uh, Habakkuk 3 and 2. Oh, Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. Man, the speech of what? The coming and the dread of day of him and his son. I have heard thy speech and what fell upon us? Fear. What shall fall upon you? Fear. You see? Bro, man, we have heard the speech. We have heard how you finna come and let the Lord do his thing. He finna come to kill and deliver. Go ahead, bro. It says, O oh Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known in wrath. Remember mercy. Remember what? Mercy. Because you don't want that. Like the brother speaking on the Hakamala, you're gonna want that that, that, that sure mercy of David, man. Yep. When you can you ain't got nothing to eat. You know what I'm saying? Your stomach touching your back. You know what I'm saying? Your kids getting on your nerves, your woman, your man, you know what I'm saying, no lights, no water. Like, damn, what a mercy is. Right. You know, I thought, I thought, yeah, you you thought. 
And they're gonna, they gonna mess a lot of our people up because they thought. When the scripture say what? Well, lean not to your own understanding. But what every word, all right, is what come out the scriptures, man. Went through the prophets. You got it out. Come. It's the precept of the brother we're looking for. This is uh, Matthew 13 and 15. For this people heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull in hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Least that any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, they should understand with their hearts, they should be converted, and I should heal them. Right. Hey, the Lord should heal you, man. Because when you come back, you repent. You know, the Lord is going to gonna have that mercy upon you, man. Mm -hmm. But, hey, you got some certain of our people, what? They, can't, they don't have the eyes to see or the ears to hear, man. So they're not going to come back. They're going to stay in that, that dumbed down state until the Lord returns and destroys this place, destroys them, man. Like the scripture says, uh, go ahead and join the hand, man. Okay? Now, hey, uh, uh, what scripture is that? I think it's in Thessalonians. It says, uh, um, reserve the ungodly for punishment. Mm -hmm. You know, that's going into the east side and, and uh, two thirds of the nation, man. Okay? Uh, this is uh, First John. Yeah, one and nine. One and nine. Uh, this is First John, one and nine. If we confess our sins, he is faithful. He what? He is faithful. Yeah. All right. You tell the Heavenly Father, yeah, I know what I've done. But just have mercy on me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's gonna do that. He is faithful. But you gotta admit your thoughts, man. That's the thing that a lot of people uh, of Israel don't wanna do. They don't wanna admit their wrongs, man. Why? Because the majority of the people went top there, man. You know what I'm saying? Because when you start to do that, you really start to open up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't wanna open up. A lot of people wanna keep shit in, in, in the closet, keep shit in the dark. No, the Lord gonna bring the light anyway. So you might well confess it to the Lord. You see? Yeah, hey, bro. This is uh, 1 John 1 and 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful. And it's just to forgive our sins. Yeah, he's going to forgive us. This is what we're working on right now. That's why we, we, we fear the Lord and we're doing the work. You know, we're teaching. You know what I'm saying? We're enduring. Why? Because we understand what's coming. Yeah. Uh, and it says, and to clean us from all unrighteousness. He's going to clean us what? From all unrighteousness. And how he going to clean us? The word. The word. I, that, that's all. Get the Psalm 119. Right? That's Psalm 119 and 5. I can't imagine really be cleansed. Because the Lord said he's going to clean us from all unrighteousness. Which is going to be through salvation. But first, how it come? This is Psalms 119 and 9. Five. Five. It says, Oh, 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 that my ways are direct. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This, this is Psalms 119 and 9. Uh -huh. Whether with shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. You see? So that's how we're going to be uh, 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 clean. Why? Because we took heed to the word. So when you take heed to the word, you start to what? Uh, 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 rehearse. Man, you start to practice. And then I say practice what you preach. Mm -hmm. yeah, what they say. You see that? So that's how we're being clean. Not because of what we're doing. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't eat pork no more. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, a, that's one step. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't commit adultery no more. That's another step. Mm -hmm. And so you start to clean yourself. You know what I'm saying? I don't eat, I don't eat, no, I don't eat shrimp, lots of crabs. Oh, no, 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 I don't print, I don't do no tattoos no more. Oh, no, I don't get no hairline. Oh, yeah, I start growing my beard. Now you start to clean. You see, you're cleaning yourself. Yeah. You see? And you're being made ready for your high by Shema Shah. All right? Because that's what the Lord is doing to us. He's making us, he, uh, he making us perfect. Mm -hmm. All right? Go ahead, uh. Son, this is Psalms 119 and 9. Where the wish of a young man cleans his way, by taking heed there too according to thy word. Exactly. See? So that's how we're going to be clean. All right? Because the word is the what? 
water and water what cleans you. Yep. All right? Physical. You get into the shower, what you do? You put what? Water on you. And water what? Cleans you. Anything you put water to, it's going to what? It's going to clean it. All right? And this word is the waters, man. You got it, man. I got that whole list. Did you already bring it? No, I ain't bring it after you. This is Hosea 14 and 1. It says, O Israel, return unto thy Lord thy power, for thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. That's why every time the Lord was coming to visit the earth and, and, and bring forth another kingdom, what are you always saying? His prophets. And what his prophets always tell the people and warn them to what? To repent. You see? Yep. Every time, man, the prophets of generation of old always say, well, hey, hey, it's time to repent. It's time to turn back to the heavenly father. Well, guess what? You're going to be doomed. That's it. Mm-hmm. And get what you have now. The same thing. Why? Because there ain't nothing new under the sun. You got it out. It says, take with you words and turn to the Lord. Take with who you? Take with you words and turn to the Lord. Exactly. You see that? So when you when you hear the, the word of Yahweh Bashem HaShah, you call it turn to him. Because you know the words of this book or this saying is true and faithful and you know it's going to happen yep uh, all right this is yeah, uh, second chronicles, uh, seven this is um uh, isaiah 55 and verse 7. it says let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, mm-hmm. and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, oh. and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon you. <laughs> I said it all, man. Hey, the Lord will have mercy upon you, man. Yeah, you were wicked, man. Yeah, you were in this world doing all types of shit that, you know, wasn't right, man. But if you uh, uh, didn't know it, but if you were doing it unwillingly, okay, the Lord will forgive you, man. Yes, yeah, said the most high wicked for God with him, man. Yep. Yeah. So hey, you you better just be in the spirit that hey, look, man, hey, I I, I was wicked, man. You know. Hey, how about Shema Shah forgive me, man? Yeah, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Because you like like how oh, one thing the Christians always say. Oh man, that made me fall out. They say, what they say out? God know my heart. Right. Yep. <laughs> and I couldn't turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> you, you wicked as all hell. You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing they say. No, that they got, you know what I'm saying? I'm some wicked shit. Right. God know my heart. Uh-huh. Ah, so you get it. Because you just change your mind. You see? Because what heart goes back to the Hebrew word law, which is what? Mind. Your mind. So God do know your mind. All right, the Heavenly Father do know you. Why? Because he created you. Go ahead, bro. It says, take away all thine all iniquity uh, and receive us graciously, so will we render the calves to our lips. Yeah, the Lord is going to take away our iniquity, man. All right? That's what the kingdom of heaven is for, man. You know, before the end, you got to repent. Because you don't, guess what? Your nigga's gonna be burnt up with you, man. And then you're gonna be all right. All right? But you want the mercy of, of, of salvation. You see? That's what you want, man. Because that's what the new covenant is about, man. We won't, we won't sin no more. Because the nigga is what? Sin on top of sin on top of sin. What is sin? Transgress against the law. All right? So with the new covenant, with them new bodies, we ain't gonna sin. But other than that, you gotta what? You gotta repent. You gotta turn from your evil ways, your evil doing. In order to receive that token. Alright, of salvation. You got it out. Right? Yeah. 
Uh, this is uh, the account in Second Chronicles, uh, chapter seven, starting in verse nine. Oh. And it reads, and in the eighth day, they made a solemn assembly, for they kept the dedication of the altar seven days and the feast seven days. Mm -hmm. And on three and twentieth day of the seven months. Oh, that's Second Corinthians. No, that's Second Chronicles. Chronicles. This is six, six Corinthians. Seven and nine. Like this is six, six Corinthians seven and nine, and it reads, "Now I rejoice, not that ye were made sorry, but that ye sorrow to repentance." Yeah. For ye were made sorry after a godly manner that ye might receive that you might receive damage by us in nothing mm. for godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation yeah. not to re not to be repented of but the sorrow of the world worketh death mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. so the world worketh death man so, hey we we want to be uh uh under that umbrella of the how about your mouth shot man his repentance is, is when we repent to the Lord, man, that's life, man. Mm -hmm. That's coming back into life, man. All right? And then keep that hard face against you, how about your mouth shine? You know, continue on in your pride and your your, your uh, wickedness, man. It's, it's going to lead you to a path of death, man. That tells you, uh, what is that, Proverbs 14 and 12? Mm -hmm. A way it's it's a way to see right into a man, but the end of the other by the way is a death, man. Yeah, because you gotta like I say, you gotta be humble and you gotta have a contrite spirit in there. At the end of the day, that's what the Lord dealing with. The Lord ain't dealing with no niggas, man. Yep. This is uh Luke 15 and 10. Likewise I say unto you. There is joy in the presence of the angels of the Most High over one sinner that repented. Over who? One sinner that repented. Come on, man. We be going down in the heaven. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We can look like a sign of the elect and see You know what I'm saying? So you know it's going down. Mm. It's our one. Mm. You see that? Our one, man. Our one, our one person. All right, one brother. All right, repenting and returning back to the heavenly Father. The head is going crazy. Like they just won a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They just scored a touchdown, man. It's going down up there, man. You see? That's how you know it's a beautiful thing, man. When, when you was able to uh, receive the spirit that the Lord gave it to you, and you repented, you, you felt good about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even though the flesh go through the things because the outside looking in, you know what I'm saying? They wasn't really take hold of the flesh and one on the flesh, the outside. But the inside, man, you, you, you know you feel good you're doing the right thing, man. You know, you feel good that you ain't got to worry about the the, 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 the the heartaches and the pain and the suffering, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. of your body and of the people when you know you got the spirit of your heart by your mouth shot and you know you got brothers to protect you. Man. You know, you, you feel good. Now I got somebody ready to call on my true power, and he gonna come. Why? Because he just showed you. But when you was in the world, he tried to call on Jesus. Goddamn it! It, 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 it took forever. Mm -hmm. That nigga was never. That nigga right never. That nigga never showed up. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He had to make it on your own. That's why nigga choose the the, the the streets. You know? Because they try to call somebody they don't even know. And to the point, they take what lies in their own hands. Mm -hmm. But now we got the true power, we got the true understanding, we got the mountain that rain from heaven. You know? This is the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shabbat's word. And guess what? It, it, it's out here, man. It's being given, it's being spread like wildfire. You know? So take heed and grab it, and guess what? Do something about it, man. All right? Why? Because this is the spirit and the time of repentance. Because guess what? Our salvation is nearer than we believe. That's right. We're not going to all, the, 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 the word is not going to always be out here, man, to give unto the people, man. 
You know? So get it while the getting is good, man. And turn back from the evil ways. We got it out. This is um, Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. It reads, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Yahweh Shahamashiach, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. One more time, my gun. This is Acts 2 and 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized. Repent and be baptized, man. Go ahead. Every one of you in the name of Yahweh Shahamashiach for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And what is the gift of the Holy Spirit? This word, this knowledge. And what does knowledge and this word uh, lead up to? Salvation. Yeah. You see? So, but first you got to what? You got to repent. You see that? And you got to be transformed by renewing of your mind. You see that? I mean what? You're cleaning yourself. You know, when you go to the just like right now, oh, that's a good, that's a good example. Right now, we in a halfway house. Or we in a, uh, what, what, what do motherfuckers go? Uh, when they be on them drugs and shit, so, they send them to a, uh, a class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A rehab. That's what we in. We in a spiritual yeah, yeah, yeah. rehab right now, man. That's right, brother. We in a spiritual rehab right now, man. All right? And guess what the Lord is doing? He's cleaning us. So when we come out and we graduate, it's good. You see? Yo, you know man. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The Lord got us in the spiritual rehab right now, man. It's beautiful, huh? Mm -hmm. Why y'all want to get that example? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, huh? This is Revelation 2 and 5. It says, Remember therefore from whence thou, thou art fallen. Yeah, remember. Henceforth when thou art fallen. Go ahead. And repent. And repent, see? Because you know when you're doing wrong. Or you in that time, but then when shit happen, like damn. So now is the time, like, hey, forgive me, you know what I'm saying? Forgive me, how about you, my shot? I fucked up. We gotta say that righteous man, what? Follow the seven times. But yep. well, he still get up and repent, and guess what? Keep pushing. We not perfect. We ain't trying to push that image of we perfect like these motherfucking Christians. I rather be hard hats holding it down. We ain't trying to push that image. All right, but what, what? We trying to the best of our ability by rehearsing and keeping the righteous acts of the job by small shot. So when you falling, you know what you gotta do? You gotta humble yourself and repent to the Lord. Go ahead, bro. It says, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of, out of his place. All right, now what is the first works? The fear of the Lord. Keep his commandments. What? Because that's the whole dude of man. Yeah, that's the first verse of the fear of the Lord. If you don't fear the Lord, he's going to take the candlestick from you. And what is the candlestick? You got it out. Yeah. This is Psalms 119 and 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. The what? Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. See, now this is the GPS to what? Salvation. You see? Hearkening to the voice of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. You see, this is the lamp. A lamp is a light. They, without that light, you can't see. You see? Go ahead, bro. And they light unto my path. Now, what's on the side note of that? Yep. And on the side note, it says um, the word lamp is replaced with candle. You see? So he going to remove the word out. You see? I, I, okay, he, he, remember, everybody ain't going to have no cup for their sin. So remember, everybody had a chance to what? To receive this word. You see that? So the Lord gonna remove that candlestick from you. All right, which is what the word. Now you asked out. Why? Because you didn't have the spirit of repentance upon you. You didn't have that contrite heart. All right. You try to do this for for Naysayer. You try to do this for Fifth of Lucas' sake. You know how Jacob is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, for their own uh, uh, vain. You know what I'm saying? Reason. No. You use it for your high by Shema Shai to push his agenda, push his message, all right? Which is what? To build the house of David, 
All right, that's what we're doing right now. We're building the house of David, which I ruined, man. All right, why? Because the kingdom of heaven is going to be established upon the earth. That's right. But guess what? Those men are going to repent. Those men are going to have a country heart. Those men are going to be humble. Because those men know it's the father that rules it. The father that set up and take it down. You see that? The father wants to give and take it away. Those men know. You got it, Doc. Oh, you got that I'm going to finish, finish it off in Revelation. It says, I will come into thee quickly and remove that candlestick. Yeah, the Lord said he's going to come quickly and remove that candlestick. Go ahead. Out of his place, except thou repent. Except what? Except thou repent. Yeah, man, you got to repent, man. You got to repent, man. You got to turn back from the, the thoughts you ever had and the ways that you ever been. It's not hard, man. That's one thing about the truth, man. It's not hard, man. It's not hard. Fuck what they say. Do what you know. They're going to get a lot of people because they're so eager about what the world going to say. My boy, my mama going to think. Oh, my daddy going to think. Oh, one of my brothers, my sister, my girlfriend, you know, my, 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 my homeboy. Man, fuck them, man, because you know. Because the Lord gave you the spirit to understand this. Not them. They have nothing to mean to cut you off, but what's that saying in the word? If you know better, you will do You'll better. You'll do better. They know you want to do better. Man. Yeah, why? They might look at me funny, man. Mm -hmm. Or I might lose my woman, man. And she all I got. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might lose my job. I might. Come on, bro. The Lord say repent, man. You got it, out. So, so this is Matthew. This is Matthew chapter four and verse seventeen. From that time, Yahweh began to preach and to say, "Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand." Yep. Yep. Hey, repent. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. So we here, man. That's what you got to do, man, to get back uh, uh, in touch with your power. All right, to get back on the right side of judgment, you got to repent, man. You got to come back to your how about shot, man. And, 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 hey, what does it say? The kingdom of heaven is at, is at hand, man. It's right, right there. We're, that's what we're waiting on, man. We got a couple more prophecies left, man, and that's it. That's right, man. You know, I know where to go. That's how, hey, that's how you know where we at, man. This is it, man. You know, this is it. So, uh... Yeah, that's why you should be really on the, 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 the mind frame of repentance because we're getting close. Because you know how they get close to the devil, they start to change their life around. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't smoke no more. Man. You know what I'm saying? I'm already on the. Uh, you know what I'm saying, Jacob? I'm already uh, got the shit already on me. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Tools and when shit and. You know how motherfuckers be on that house and they got to, you know, yeah. they, so they really be, they, they be trying to change their life around because they know they're close to death. Yep. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. We get close, man, until the Lord comes back to deliver and destroy this place, man. That's right, right. bro. So that's why we're saying, hey, just have the spirit of repentance on you, man, and, 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 and be be mindful and be truthful about it, man. The Lord said you got to serve him in spirit and, and in truth, truth, man. Right. You know? So with that, I hope you brothers and sisters are edified. Once again, we give all honor and glory and power to. Yeah, how by Shem, you have a shot by Shem. Once they double honors to our elders and peace and bless the hope of the legend of four corners, pushing the truth and sincerity. They great song. Next time, Shalom. Shalom. Baba Ball. Baba Ball. Rock our octave, man. Rock our octave. ETA, baby. ETA. Yeah. Yeah.